Hi everyone, welcome back to the my channel. My name is Anil and in this react video we will learn about the state in class component. State in the functional component we will learn in the next video. So we will just going to cover in the three topics in this video. So what is actually state? How we can define and use it in the class component? How we can update it on the button press? So now the first question is that what is the state? So basically state is an object inside the component. All right, and it can contain some data like a variable but we cannot access this state outside the component for the outside component we have to use the props and if you don't know about the props then you can get the link in the description box also so I hope you just get the idea about what is a state now let's see that how we can define it in the use in the class component so first of all I'm going to zoom out this uh, my editor and just open the app.js file because this is our basic file and uh, on the initial level we can start the code from here so let's remove the whole code from here and uh, this is the blank component now let's start the code from a very scratch so first of all we have to import react from react all right and after that import some uh, elements from react native react mm, react native right and what component we can get so the two primary components are view and the text and for the button press we need a button also so let's import this one also so now let's define the class name of class is app extend will um, react dot component and here for defining the state we can use the constructor so let's define the constructor and call the super so that we can call the parent constructor and here just define this dot state equal to object and in this object we can get anything so let's say by default I have a data state and it have a blank value for now right and we will update this value after this just some time so now uh, one more thing we need a render so that we can write some HTML uh, some tags elements here just return here and inside the return let's define view and let's one more define the text also mm -mm. with the capital T and just write here something like this in the uh, JSX index this dot state dot data we can call the state like this now let's see that now you will see uh, but this is still not working because uh, we have to export the uh, app also so just write here export default app and now it should work with the blank screen all right because there is no data in the state so if I just put some data like uh, state in class component then now you can see that we get the data here all right so this is the way that how we can just define the state and how we can just use the state now let's see that how we can just edit the state on a uh, update the state on a button click also so uh, just format your code and let's make some more tag just define the button here and on the button uh, we don't need to close like this we can just simply write here title props and just pass here click me mm, like this and we need on press on the on press event we will call a arrow function and this arrow function will call anything like this dot set state what is the set state here set state is used for update the state all right so if I just put here data equal to new state right so whenever I just put the data in equal to new state that means this text will be updated in the data state so let's just make a little bit font in large so, so that we can just see it clearly just write here font size equal to 40 right so whenever I'm just going to click on it this text will be updated with the new state because this will be 
gonna update the state whenever I just see that here you can see that the new state is here one more thing that you must have to remember that whenever the state will be update the render method will be automatically called for example uh, if I just write here render at the initial level it will just update it here whenever I'm going to click click it the render will be gonna update again here you can see that whenever I am just going to click this render method will be automatically called if and if anything's changed in the state right and one more thing guys never update state like this this dot state dot data equal to new data because if we just write the state like this the state will be updated but render function never gonna be called again after just this syntax correct so render will be automatically called on after the set state not directly kind of this state so thanks for watching this video if you still have any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel bye bye take care